Hey everyone, it's Paige and we're back for another YouTube video today. I'm on the range at True North and I thought I would go through a couple shots that people have asked me to hit. So a lower shot, a higher shot, a fade, and a draw, and the different ways that you can do it and when you can bring them into play. So um, there's ton of different ways that you can do this and these are just a couple ways that have worked for me. I am more of a feel player so that means that I feel the shot and I hit the shot. It's almost like it's so hard to explain but it's not very mechanical for me. I just have to sense that I am you know coming from the inside and turning it over and that's how I hit a hook but there are certain um, things that you should do that will really help you with different shot shapes and it all pretty much comes down to your setup and also your swing path. And if you are new to this channel, this is uh, All Things Golf and, and you can hit the subscribe button down below. So I really hope you like this more informative, um, more technical kind of video today. So first we're going to start with um, a low ball flight and then I'll show you how to hit it higher as well and then we'll work on how to hit a draw and how to hit a fade. So the first one is when you want to go a little bit lower, more of a knockdown shot. This is good for when it's windy out kind of like today and you don't want to get a lot of extra spin on the ball and have it balloon high. Um, it's also great if you are in trouble and you need to hit it low under a tree. Um, or sometimes this is just a great shot that you can hit under pressure. This is my go-to shot when I'm a little bit nervous and it's more of a more compact swing and I feel like I can control the ball flight. So there's a ton of ways that you can um, incorporate this shot into your game. What I do is I put it a little bit farther back in my stance, choke down just slightly. I'm not big on choking all the way down. Some people like that for more control, but I choke down just a little bit. It's more of a shorter backswing. Um, you can de-loft your hands a little bit so your weight just slightly more forward. More of a tight backswing, not as big, and a, like, um, wait for those planes to pass. <laughs> a shorter backswing and a shorter follow-through, more of a knockdown shot. I'll show you one more. Back to the stance, choke down slightly, hands a little bit forward, weight a little bit forward. Short and compact backswing and follow through. If you really want to get it super low, obviously just exaggerate everything that I told you. And for hitting it higher, uh, it's pretty much the opposite. So I put a little bit farther forward in my stance. Hands, I would say back, but just neutral. You can open the club if you want to really shoot it in the air. And I almost feel like I'm kind of, kind of hanging back and almost throwing my hands a little bit on this shot just so I can get it more in the air. This is for a very high shot. If you feel uncomfortable throwing your hands, that is a personal preference that I I like to do. Um, I do that in my flop shots, so I'm very comfortable with that, but that can also make you feel like you're gonna hit it fat. So you do not have to do that if that feels uncomfortable to you. The changes in your setup are enough. So a little farther forward, kind of shift your weight back slightly and open the club. For a draw, there's two ways you can do it. You can do it by the, well, the, <laughs> so there's two ways you can do it. You can kind of incorporate two of them together. Um, just find what works for you. I kind of incorporate a little bit of both. So you can do it by changing your swing path or you can do it by your setup. So for setup with a draw, the club face would be a little bit more shut. You'd aim a little bit more to the right and your stance would be a little bit more closed. You do this because it kind of, if your stance is closed, it makes you feel like you're gonna come a little bit underneath it and that's what you want for your swing path. You want to come a little bit more on the inside so it's inside coming in. Obviously I'm exaggerating right now. 
and you almost feel like you're turning it over. So it starts right and draws over. So the first one, close club face, a little bit of a close stance, same swing. So that's an easy way to hit a draw or make sure that it moves a little to the left. And another way is to same normal setup as you normally do and then change your swing pass. So come a little bit more from the inside and feel like you're turning it over. I personally like to do a little bit of both because I don't feel like I can shift my swing path that much under pressure. So I keep my face square. I do not like shutting it because that looks weird to me. But I close my stance just slightly because it helps me get that inside path that I'm looking for. And it's just then kind of a normal swing from there. Just kind of swing along your toe line. That's your draw. Um, it is windy right now and the wind is going left to right pretty hard so my low shot my high shot did have a slight fade to it and my draw didn't have uh, the right draw that I normally would hit you didn't see a lot of curvature to it it just kind of held and just fell um, and the fade obviously was a little bit more exaggerated um, so just be mindful of that when you're outside and it's windy when you're working on shot shapes know where the wind is and that's also a really good way to practice so today if the wind is going to the right practice your draws to kind of hold it up against the wind um, see how much it moves it's a really good way to um, see how the wind is affecting your ball flight and you can translate that over to the golf course so you know when it feels about this windy the ball is going to move an extra five yards or take a little bit off of it so it, it's uh, important to really notice your surroundings and how they affect the golf ball to hit a fade well a lot of people kind of hit a fade or slice it so you're probably like I know how to do this but uh, there's uh, same as the draw two ways you can kind of incorporate both of them it's by setup so you open your face and you open your stance and just kind of hit a normal swing Or you can do it more with your swing path, which means that you come a little bit over the top and you feel like you're holding your hands off. So the face is kind of more open. So it's gonna look like, that's kind of the exaggerated version of what I'm feeling like I'm doing. And then for a draw, that's the exaggerated version. If you're really struggling with your fades, you can stand a little bit closer to the ball, makes the club a little bit more upright and it moves, it's easier to move your shot from left to right. If you wanna hit a slice, obviously it's just a very exaggerated version. So for low, back stance, choke down, do loft, high shot, draw, fade. So very easy, you can do pretty much anything you want with just your setup. Um, I think that's probably the best way to go about it because you don't have to worry about changing your swing too much. We need a lot of practice to know where your swing plane is and even I get a little uncomfortable in say like tournaments or pressure situations, shifting my swing path and then going back to try and hit that straight shot. But I will say majority of the time, I'm always trying to work the ball. You never really get normal conditions where there's no wind or anything so it's nice to know that I have these shots it takes a lot of practice and also makes it more fun too so if you don't like the range or you get bored easily it's a great way to practice shots here out here and keep it interesting and exciting is trying to hit different shots like I'll hit 10 draws 10 fades I'll mix them up I like to imagine that there's a building in front of me with all glass windows and I'll have to hit like a low straight shot a low draw, a low hook, I'm trying to hit each of the glass panels every time. And it'll be like low, medium, high. And I kind of go through that in my head and, and imagine what shots I would hit and how I would feel it. Um, 
it, everyone's different and for me like I said I'm a real feel player so I don't really think too much of mechanics I think how do I want my what shot am I trying to hit and how am I going to do it and I just kind of can feel it in my body so if I know I'm going to hit a low fade I, I feel it. I feel what I'm going to do and usually, I'm not going to say it ever really works out, but um, it's just through a lot of practice too. And don't ever try to pull off a shot on the course that you haven't practiced on the range or you don't know you have a bag. So for me, I can't really hit a high draw on command that well. I do struggle with that. So that's not my go-to shot when I'm out on the golf course. I never really try to do that. And so don't try to attempt shots that you've never practiced before, but these are great shots to incorporate when you're on the golf course. So I hope you enjoyed this type of video. Um, let me know if there's anything else you want me to talk about in future videos. Leave a comment down below on what your favorite shot is to hit, and I will see you guys next time uh, for my next YouTube video.